Faculty at the UBC School of Architecture are showcasing some of their work right now. The exhibit features innovative designs and ideas, some tackling pressing issues in cities. Bob Nixon takes us on a tour. We know of no other house in the world that has a, sh a shimmering jewelry curtain. If the first requirement for a great architect is passion, Matthew Souls is well on his way. So it becomes this kind of magical object. Mm -hmm. Souls is describing a laneway house he has designed, a kitchen upstairs, floor to ceiling windows, and ringed by long strands of stainless steel chains. It blows slightly in the wind. It is just one of dozens of ideas on display at the downtown Oz Gallery, every one from a University of British Columbia architecture professor. So it's a demonstration of the ways in which UBC architecture and landscape architecture faculty are actually making very real differences in the cities we live in right now. You make individual trusses. You need Professor Oliver Newman explores how computer design and cutting equipment make it possible to build virtually any shaped wooden building you can imagine, round, oblong, you name it. It's called formal diversity, but will they pop up beside your house? So formal diversity is good for freestanding stuff, but it's not good if you need to relate to your neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what your neighbor thinks matters a great deal to Professor John Bass. His architecture tries to reconcile competing, sometimes antagonistic demands on scarce lands. Take a building he created for an oceanside wetland. So you have bird watchers at part, t during part of the year, uh, hunters other times of the year, and uh, farm workers other times of year, all occupying this same building. And you can check it out at the Oz Gallery from now until March 15th. Bob Nixon, CBC News, Vancouver.